Hello. Okay, um, I was sort of reminded when I made my napkin ring video, or even the candlestick video, that not everybody has one of these that they can mount one of these on which I used in both those videos. Uh, so this is the, uh, the live center that came with this new lathe. So I thought I would uh, kind of demonstrate what you can do if you don't have one of these. So this is just a piece of uh, hard maple, a stub that I pulled out of my bucket of uh, odds and ends. I'm going to excavate a hole in the end that will be a snug fit for the outside of this uh, live center. So it needs to be deep enough, uh, I want it to come all the way down to the end so that it's got uh, this distance to keep it from uh, getting skewed. Um, is one and five sixteenths. And I'm already one and seven sixteenths, so I'm already deep enough. So I just need to open that hole up to be able to slide this in there. took too much off the length. And I may not be seated at that shoulder either. That shoulder is 13 sixteenths of an inch in. Yeah, I guess that's about where I am. Uh, I'm going to use my diamond point scraper. Right now, since I cut that shoulder with uh, the gouge, it's kind of a, a cove instead of a, a nice crisp shoulder, so I'm going to uh, try squaring it up a bit.
There, that feels just about right. And there's not much play there either, so it's seating nicely against that shoulder. And I've got enough clearance for the for the point. It's not uh, causing me any problem. Interfering with anything, I mean. So the inside depth is right there. Okay, so this is the center line. And this is the radius. It's this angle in here that I want to be 60 degrees. So that makes this angle down here 30 degrees. Because this angle is 90 degrees and the three of them have to add up to 180 degrees. Just like in high school. So I've got my protractor set at uh, at 60 degrees off of uh, vertical Okay, so, basically what that's, what that's saying is that this is the horizontal dimension from where the taper starts to where the taper ends. And that's what I'm interested in, and that measures about 1 and 11 sixteenths. So, 1 and 11 sixteenths. So basically I want to taper running from this point at, to parting it off at this point. And I won't try and do that. What I will do is I'll take it down uh, quite a bit. In that, in that fashion, and then I'll make a jam check, part it off, turn it around, and jam it onto the jam check in order to finish off the point. And, alright, here we go. So that's where the end of it is. Okay, and I'm at the point where it's starting to, uh, because it's so small there, I'm starting to get some vibration as I <coughs> try and cut that whole surface. Of 
what I could do. <laughs> Dummy. There, that should steady it up. Since this is wood, you're not likely to be using the point of it. Uh, so that's probably fine the way it is, but I'll go ahead and uh, turn, the, turn a jam chuck on there. And jam that on it so I can finish off that... Uh, irritating bit of his here. the rest just a little too high to let me get right down to the point there. 
Pearl, Anchor, Bevel, And that should uh, work just as well as as this one for things like anchoring uh, the uh, candle hole on a on a candlestick or expanding the collet chuck on uh, on my napkin ring holder. I don't have a blank drilled out, so I'll put a finished napkin ring on there. And that seems to be spreading it out just fine. If you don't have a setup like this, you can make something like that. And it'll work every bit as good. It just won't last as long. It'll get, uh, it's already got a ring of uh, burnished area there, just from the pressure. But when, uh, when it gets worn out, you can make another one. And you see in there, so it looks like the, uh, the very point is just making a dimple on the inside there and that's probably a good idea because it'll give you've got uh, the shoulders seating, seating on this ridge and the point just digging in should keep it uh, nice and straight keep it from uh, wobbling around on you And that should uh, that should work fine. So make yourself a cone center if you don't have a one-way tail center. They're real handy to have. Thank you for watching.